they were supposed to look at what I've done. And they hit play and it rolled out and I couldn't believe I've gotten away with it. Everything started with a little white lie and now here we are. Years later, I'm still telling the same exact lie, but on a much bigger scale. To start this story, we need to back up a couple of years, or actually <laughs> quite a lot of years. I've always had an interest of taking photos and making videos, but I always made them for just for fun. I never thought I would actually be able to make money out of them, because I learned in school that you're basically not allowed <laughs> to have fun in the area you're also working in. Like those two were not supposed to be connected. But I kept taking photos and I kept making videos. People and companies started reaching out to me. I had this feeling inside of me that I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. I was just guessing what I was doing and hoping that I wouldn't caught me in a lie. But then all of a sudden I got contacted by a very big company and they asked if I wanted to come with them to Dubai and spend four or five days there to film before <laughs> My, I knew what was happening, I've said yes to this assignment. Um, and just to be clear, the only cameras I've ever worked with before was these small compact cameras. They're really good as well, but they're not what clients expect you to show up with to a client gig. So I reached out to my friend uh, Sebastian at Sony. Hi, uh, panic mode, uh, can I lend a really good camera from you? And he was like, yeah, uh, sure, when do you need it? I was like, in five days absolutely zero time to prepare i got the camera from sebastian the same day the flight left to dubai i was actually sitting in my plane seat with like a paper manual like scrolling it through and trying to see like okay what does this camera do uh, i i had absolutely no idea what i was doing uh, I know video and photography in some sense, but I've never used a camera like that before. The whole plane was just for us, uh, the whole company. Whenever like a CEO or a big boss walked by, I like, had to hide everything. And they always asked like, oh, how, how is it feeling? Are you feeling prepared? And I was just trying to play it cool. Like, yeah, no worries. Got it under control, just preparing the, the small little details, which I weren't. I was in full panic mode. So my assignment when we got there to Dubai was to film from 8 in the morning to 10 in the evening. And then from 10 in the evening that day, I had to edit everything, the whole video, until 7 in the morning when it was supposed to be presented on this big morning meeting with the CEO and all the like higher ups in the company. And they were, there were hundreds of them. I spent the entire day running around Dubai and capturing everything I could think about. Uh, I had a plan, but I was at the same time <laughs> panicking. I remember contacting my um, photography friends like, hi, um, there's this thing called ISO and I'm supposed to know what aperture is. All these settings I had, oh, it was full on panic mode. Uh, and I felt like such a fake doing it. I had a lot of fun, but I was like, this company has no idea. They've just hired a complete newbie. I kept filming, I kept taking photos, uh, I was really active that day, and then editing, editing, editing the entire night. Just to be clear, I didn't have that much experience in editing either. So I just kept guessing, I keep faking it. The next day or the same morning, basically I was editing, I uh, went with my small flash drive to the CEO of the company, uh, like actually like shaking, both from tiredness and also a complete lack of faith in myself. <laughs> So I handed him the flash drive and he put on some headphones, used my laptop and looked at it like <laughs> he was complete silence for those. I think it was eight minutes. The video was uh, and I just stood there shaking, trying to really portray a, a confident man or a boy. And then he looked at me and said, like, Kalle, have a seat. We need we need to talk about the video a bit. And it felt like my whole world was just crumbling down. 10 minutes later, I put my flash drive into this enormous cinema screen in front of all those higher ups people, but it was still so surreal. Oh, I get, <laughs> I get like goosebumps talking about this. It felt so surreal standing in that room um, with all these grown ups, but I felt like I was such a small kid standing in this room of really important people. I felt like they were supposed to look at what I've done. And they hit play and it rolled out and...
everyone applaud and say it was such a good video. This is really good, Kalle. This amazingly done. And I couldn't believe I've gotten away with it. That no one had caught my lie. They had no idea that, was, that I didn't even own the camera. I had no idea what I was doing. That is also the point I wanted to make with this whole story. That you should start before you're ready. This really was the case of my filmmaking career. Like, I had no idea what I was doing. I still feel I have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about sometimes when I'm making videos these days. I don't know all the settings on these cameras. Uh, I don't know what I'm, what the things are called when I'm uh, setting, sitting and editing. Same thing when I'm playing guitar. I don't know what the chords are called. I just made up my own uh, as I went along. My guitar teacher hated me in school because he wanted me to make like, we call it skalor in Sweden, like do 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 do. I hated that, so I had made my own chords and just figured something out. And he always said, Kalle, you will never be able to write music if you don't stick to the rules. And I was like, I'm not gonna listen to your rules, but <laughs> I'm gonna do and do and make my own. And the same thing for, for my filmmaking. I just started something that I thought was very fun to do. And it worked out. And just to be clear, this is not me just telling a, like a success story. Uh, I want to tell you to inspire you to start your own journey and don't think overly, don't overthink it. You think there are so many obstacles in the way, but there actually aren't. If you want to become a filmmaker, for instance, grab your cell phone, your iPhone or whatever you're using. That works perfectly fine. I started my whole filmmaking career, if you want to call it that, by using action cams. And then I went up to this compact camera, uh, which I thought was going to be like the end goal of my filmmaking. Like that's, that's the biggest camera I'm ever going to own because I paid a lot of money for it. Um, and now I'm sitting here with this enormously big and a very expensive camera. Uh, again, still have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm just trying my way through life and trying to experience the way I can and I know. And make sure you're saying yes to projects before you're ready. Because my philosophy is that the worst thing that could happen in life if you say yes to something is that it doesn't work out. And that's not the end of the world. The worst thing that could happen then is that you'd say yes and you take a step forward in life. The worst thing that can happen is you get a no or it doesn't work out. You just take a step back and you ended up in the same place you were before. And that's not too bad, I think. And then you can just try a new thing. But what I really want to tell you with this story is that don't wait for someone to call you a filmmaker. Don't wait for someone to call you an artist or whatever it may be. Start by calling yourself something today. Put a label on it and own it. And the way I did that was both from just experimenting and trying things out, but also learning from others. Take this step together with me and start your creative journey today. And the best way to do it is to sign up to Skillshare, who's kindly enough sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives, and they have thousands of different classes for you to explore. Everything from art to design, music, filmmaking, you name it and they have it. And you're getting access to all of these classes for only $10 a month when you're signing up for an annual subscription. And the best part of this whole segment is that the first thousand people, that's you, that use my link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. You know how passionate I am about filmmaking and I think that this whole video speaks to that as well. And that's why I want to recommend these two classes. The first one is called Filmmaking for All, Tell Your Story Through Video. And that one is made by a really cool guy called Dan Mace. And I really, really look up to this guy. So check that one out first. And the other one I would like to recommend is this one. How to Speak Confidently on Camera, a guide for content creators by Natalian Drew. And he's also a YouTuber I really look up to for his storytelling as well. But when it comes to talking to camera, He's one of the best. And even though I've done filmmaking now for so many years and talked in front of the camera, I still learned so much from that class. So if you want to check them out, be sure to click the link in my description and that will get you a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. And by signing up, you're also supporting me and this channel. So for that, I want to say thank you. If you watched all the way here into the video, I just want to say thank you for sticking around. And if you liked it, I would love if you can just like the video and make a comment on what you thought about it. Thank you for that and we'll yeah, we'll talk soon again.